Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So yesterday evening UK time we had the 12.12 .12 patch trailer drop on YouTube. Uh, Battlestate Games gave us a, I think it was around a three minute trailer, showcasing the new lighthouse map and a ton of stuff that we will be getting in patch 12.12. .12. So guns, gear, uh, there was lots, uh, lots more than what we thought I think. So just going to give you a quick breakdown of it. So the first thing that we noticed, this is going from the start of the trailer through to the end there was a little guide put on some uh, Facebook group that I'm in and this guy I'll put him up on screen right now big thank you to him he's broke the trailer down into the different points of where you see the different things so starting off at 30 seconds you see the FN scar L with the aim point T1 then moving on to one minute you see the MTS 255 this is the revolver uh, shotgun which I can't wait to use that. I think it looks badass then we move on to the HK G28 this was a complete surprise for this trailer this was a gun that hasn't been mentioned in anything by Battlestate games so we didn't actually know that it was coming into the game but it is coming into the game now then what one minute 39 we see the vortex range 1500 this is the range finder for snipers and this was a surprise as well I don't think anybody knew that this was coming into the game either I'd question its viability in the game I'm not too sure just how useful it will be but for those that like to do those sort of things and have somebody spotting for them I think it's a good inclusion for the game then we've got the fgb-6 training flashbang grenade so we'll have two different flashbang grenades in the game then we've got the rgo impact grenade i quite like the look of this so it's an impact grenade as soon as it hits something it goes off so i would assume that if it hits your pmc you are dead instantly i can't see you being able to survive these but we'll see you also get to see this being used in the actual trailer as well it's thrown at um, one of the shipping containers and goes off as it hits the door then we've got the hk usp you don't get a great look at this you just see it sort of down the air down the ads and then we've got the fn scar h so we are getting the fn scar l and h in the game although you don't get a great look at the scar h but it looks as though that's what it is and that is it there is a lot of other stuff i will link in the description down below all of the breakdown that this guy did so that you can see everything for yourself but the other thing that we get a good look at as well whilst we're trying to sort of see all the new gear and attachments and everything that we're getting is we get an amazing look at the lighthouse map it looks like there's four or five different sort of main areas where we're going to get to fight so obviously there's the um, the house that you have and there's a couple of industrial areas as well sort of a super works in there as well and then you've got this view which is of the island where the lighthouse is now in the first release of this map you won't be able to go to this area but this is going to be where the in-map trader is going to reside but for the first iteration of this map you won't be able to go to this area but it looks huge you've got two double stacked buildings you've got the radar dome and the actual lighthouse itself so when that does eventually get added into the map you're going to get a hell of a sort of new area to go into it looks pretty expansive as as well so there is a lot more to come with this map and whilst i was watching this trailer i remember back to when they announced that lighthouse was on the way and there was this confusion as to whether we'd get lighthouse first or we'd get streets of tarkov because at the point that lighthouse was announced streets of tarkov had been very much well in development for a long time and not long after they announced it they said that most of the team that had been building streets of tarkov was getting moved over to lighthouse and that streets of tarkov was now just being sort of polished up and balanced for release but in the time that they've been balancing that game and put that map and polishing it they've created this whole new map so just how big is streets of tarkov if they're able to create this whole new map within the time frame of doing streets of tarkov i you know it's it boggles the mind a little bit to wonder just how big streets of tarkov is going to be so but i'm not moaning lighthouse looks amazing i can't wait to play it so yeah let me know down in the comment section down below what you're most excited for out of patch 12.12 .12. have you not been playing escape from tackoff recently have you given up with it does this make you want to play again what weapons and attachments are you looking forward to using i'm looking forward to getting hold of the scars giving them a go i do like using scars in other games so and the impact grenade is definitely one that i want to uh, give a go but just exploring lighthouse first and foremost is what i want to do just having a new map we haven't had a new map for i think it's two years now it's a long long time to wait for a new map i definitely think that unity 2019 the move over to that engine is what slowed down the sort of the uh 
amount of content that we've been getting with the game now that they've settled with unity 2019 all being well we will get more content one notable thing that hasn't been mentioned for patch 12.12 .12 is dlss i don't know if it's still coming with this patch it was due for release before 12.12 .12, but it seems to have dropped off the radar a little bit i didn't watch the recent community podcast with nikita so i don't know if it was mentioned in that but up to now i haven't heard anything mentioned about it coming with this patch so probably not a biggie for a lot of people but for those of us with nvidia rtx cards at dlss could give us a big frame bump i'm not too bothered about whether it improves the visuals but giving us better performance is definitely what i'm after but no mention of it yet so we'll have to wait and see for patch notes to see if it actually is going to be in 12.12 .12. i've got a funny feeling that it's not going to make it in though for some reason but we'll have to wait and see but yeah let me know in the comment section down below what you're most excited for i can't wait for this this is definitely one of the biggest patches that they've ever released especially in the time that i've been following escape from tarkov which is getting on for three years now so yeah looking forward to this when is wipe everything points to sunday everybody seems to have settled on sunday being wiped it it could all just be a complete ruse from battlestate games though and we could be waiting longer but it seems to be sunday so i'm going to join in with everybody else and say yeah it'll be this sunday but we could be wrong who knows we'll have to wait and see anyway that's it from me folks thank you very much for watching and listening i hope you all have an amazing weekend and hopefully wipe day if it is sunday it'll be a easy day to join usually wipe days are one of these days where you can't quite get onto the game because everybody's trying to get on it sometimes a wipe and a patch sort of break the game as well but hopefully it goes smoothly so enjoy your weekend everybody and i will catch you in the next one take care